Hi, I'm Dudley Brown, President of the National Association for Gun Rights, and this is your post-election grassroots news update. If you saw results of the midterm elections earlier this week, then you are no doubt as excited as I am. But just in case you didn't, let me give you a recap here. Tuesday was a great night for NAGR members, as gun-grabbing candidates were defeated in key races all across the country, and Barack Obama lost his iron grip over the U.S. Senate. Senator Harry Reid thought he could get away with attacking your Second Amendment rights, but instead, he has now been stripped of his status as Senate Majority Leader. Gun-grabbing U.S. Senators like North Carolina's Kay Hagan, Arkansas's Mark Pryor, and Colorado's Mark Udall, who voted anti-gun last year, are now looking for new jobs, thanks in large part to Second Amendment supporters like you. Gun-grabbing Senate candidates like Iowa's Bruce Braley, Montana's Amanda Curtis, and Georgia's Michelle Nunn were rejected by wide margins. Alaska's accidental U.S. Senator, Mark Begich, who single-handedly blocked the repeal of the post office gun ban sponsored by Rand Paul, was also ousted. In a few weeks, Louisiana's anti-gun Senator Mary Landrieu could be on her way, too. In the House, new 100% pro-gun candidates, endorsed by an AGR PAC like Alex Mooney of West Virginia, Rod Blum of Iowa, Jody Heiss of Georgia, and David Bratton of Virginia, will join pro-gun congressmen like Thomas Massey of Kentucky, Jim Bridenstine of Oklahoma, and Justin Amash of Michigan. These pro-gun leaders will help us protect and restore our gun rights in the 114th Congress, which begins in January. All of this happened because of the activism of liberty-loving NAGR members and supporters like you. Thank you. You've sent a loud and clear message that when politicians attack your gun rights, they will have to answer for their unconstitutional actions. Even if you happen to live in a state where anti-gunners prevailed, don't underestimate the impact you had. Because of you, many of these gun grabbers had the fight of their political careers. Many will think twice next time they're faced with a vote on gun control. But as exciting as Tuesday's victories may be, we still face serious challenges. Remember, not every Republican who won on Tuesday has committed to protecting your gun rights, and many even outright refuse to return their National Association for Gun Rights candidate surveys. While we can and should celebrate today, legislative season is only a few months away. Radical anti-gunners know that more Republican seats will be on defense two years from now than Democrats, and they will look to capitalize on any tragedy or crisis that comes their way. The pressure to do something could result in Republican leaders compromising with Barack Obama and passing the gun controls they agree on. Make no mistake, having Republican majorities in the House and Senate does not mean we have pro-gun majorities. While it is true, Republicans in the House of Representatives now control the largest majorities in a generation, experts are warning that it's likely that the Republican majority won't advance pro-gun reforms under Speaker John Boehner. Remember, just five months ago, House Republicans voted to fund Barack Obama's anti-gun agenda, so we could actually be on the defense, not offense. The only way we will be able to withstand the next assault by the gun grabbers is if you and I are there to remind congressional Republicans and Democrats of what happened last night. So please, don't make the mistake of believing that your rights are secure. Now is the time for gun owners to go on the offense against anti-gunners in both parties, and it will take a sustained effort by NHGR members and supporters like you. On Tuesday, you sent them a loud message that voting against constitutional rights will not be tolerated, but there is still work to be done. And you could count on the National Association for Gun Rights to be there to fight for your Second Amendment rights and to keep you updated as events unfold. Thank you again, and for the latest updates, be sure to like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel.